Chat GPT, your best friend, the artificial great intelligence, listener. Great, great, listener. Listener. great listener. The AI create a list of the top 10 most overrated college football players of all time. We need to talk about this. Can we go through this list a little bit? Okay. Yeah. All right. First of all, top of the list here, most overrated football college football players of all time, according to artificial intelligence, Tim Tebow, 100%. the number one. 100%. Well, there's no way. You 100%. Okay. 100%. Dave, seriously? Tim Tebow? 100%. Tim Tebow? 100%. Two natties? Two natties and 100%. a Heisman Trophy? 100%. 100%. First of all, give me Danny Warfel over Tim. 100%. Give you Danny Warfel uh -huh. over Tim Tebow. Look, for, Tim wasn't even the best player on his team. Who was the best player on his team? Percy Harvin. No. Um, Carlos Dunlap. No. Brandon Spikes. No. 100%. Dude, I'm telling you. Tim, the, the reason Tim, Maybe the Spikes. reason Tim, the reason Tim's like numbers were so sexy when it comes to touchdowns, it's just short yardage. What are you That's talking like about Williams, here, man? Not an elite thrower. His Heisman year, he had 3,200 yards passing. He had 32 touchdowns and six picks. That doesn't even count. Do you know how good this Florida team was? Eight, why do you 900 play, rushing Dave, yards. Dave, why do you play in the NFL in? That, we're talking about college Why football. Why do you play the NFL in? We're talking about college football. He was a I'm great taking Johnny Manziel player. over Tim Tebow. I'm taking Matt Leiner. Vince Young and Cam Newton are just better versions of Tim Tebow. Hold on. Hold on. You're taking Matt Leiner over Tim Tebow? Uh, yes. Yes. What Tim, look, what Tim did back in the day, that's when like the running quarterback just like just started happening. What that stuff wouldn't work today. What are you talking that stuff about? Wouldn't work. He was not an elite thrower enough today to be a, a top tier quarterback in college. Well, I don't necessarily disagree. I, I understand what you're saying on that point, but what about Cam then? What about Cam Newton? Cam did it by himself. Cam was a Cam could throw the hell out of it. I know, like having a. I I know that, but I'm just saying, like, do you know who was on these teams? Thirty two hundred yards. Do you know who was on these teams? They were really With good. Tim Tebow? And Urban Meyer. But why are you? Why does Tim Tebow? Why does that get held against him? It the most get held overrated. Him. This I'm could just, just as he, easily be the top to me, ten college football. To me, player I think them. you could have a realistic conversation whether you take him or Chris Leak. Of what? Most uh, well, who's better? Okay, well, first of all, Chris Leak was really good. See, Chris Leak needs to be on the most underrated. Chris Leak never gets talked about. And on that first national championship team, one thing that I do always have to remind Florida fans especially is Chris Leak was the starting quarterback on that first one. Tim Tebow was getting brought in, brought in on short yardage situations. But nonetheless, he still played as a true freshman. They won the natty. He won the, the Heisman his sophomore year. They Should have won it. Darren McFadden should have won it. Okay, first of all, that's false. But second of all, that year, they, they did have a slip up in the uh, uh, in the Citrus Bowl. They did lose the Citrus Bowl. Did you watch Jeremy Fadden play? I did. He was really good. <laughs> so Tim Tebow Tim shouldn't Tebow have even won a Heisman Trophy. Deserve that more than Darren McFadden? So Tim Tebow shouldn't have won a Heisman Trophy. No. Okay. No. And not, and not the Natties either. Not the National No, the Natties are no, fine. should have won the Look, shout out to Charlie Tim Strong. Tebow, you're shout trash. out to Charlie Strong in that defense. That was elite. Elite. I will say Everywhere this. on that the team The only elite. argument you could possibly make that would bring me over to your side is to say <laughs> that Tim Tebow and the Florida Gators just couldn't get it done in the 2008 Centris Bowl against Michigan. All right? So the one time I played against him, I won. Right. I feel look, good about it. Look, Chad GPT's right. Tim Tebow's overrated. All right. The, the other ones, I don't right. get. I'm not even going to entertain this. Either. I don't. Brady look, Johnny Menzel, number two. How do you feel about your boy, Chad? I don't Chad? like it. I don't like it. You don't like it. I don't like it. Johnny, what was Johnny bad at? No, Johnny, Johnny was terrible. He shouldn't have won the What was Johnny trophy. bad at? That's exactly. So so Tim Tebow's yeah. number one and Johnny Manziel's here number two. It doesn't make sense. Players. Well, like that one doesn't make sense to me. Like you can go down this. I get one. One I get. For, Tim Tebow. You know I what? Get. Let's at least say this at the start, though. I oh, I hate this term overrated because it has very little to do with the player's performance and more to do with what we're talking about with expectations. Yes. So you're are you just saying that? With Tim Tebow, the hype was so much bigger than how good he. You can't be saying yeah, he was a bad like football was, player. No, he's a good football player. Okay. I'm not saying You're just that. saying the hype. Yeah, it was just you know the speeches and like like taking over in the fourth quarter. Like no. So you just think he's lame. No. I think you just think some, I think he's lame. somewhat fake. I think he's he's I think he's. Somewhat, but what does oh, that have to do with someone over? I think he's overrated too. Okay. Well, everyone thought he was just walking on water in college when one. Wasn't a great thrower, right? He just ran the hell out of it. And the teams that he played with were the best. Well, you know, I mean, it's... Would you the rather have Johnny position, Manziel or Tim Tebow? Playing, quarterback, playing the quarterback position isn't just about throwing the ball well. 
Okay, well, it needs to be part of it. He used his legs. He needs to be part of it. I get it, but that, would you that's take why, him or Johnny? But to answer your question you, on the NFL level, that's why it wasn't a great NFL. Quarterback. Would you take him or Johnny Manziel? I would take Tim Tebow. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want the toxic. I don't want the toxic. Would you take Johnny him or Vince Manziel. Young? I would take Tim Tebow. No, you wouldn't. I would take Cam Newton over him though. I take and Cam I, and Newton I would over take, all these guys. I would take Joe Burrow over him. Yeah, duh. <laughs> you take Danny Warfel over him. No, I would not. Yes, you would. All right, Johnny Menzel, number two, you don't agree with. Matt Leiner at number three. Matt Leiner at number three. I guess three. the only knock on Matt Leiner is just, uh, I mean. I can see Matt Leiner being on this list. I still don't like it. I still don't like this term overrated and all that, but the, I can see Matt Leiner being on this list a little bit more just because of some of the, the, the comments you made about Tim Tebow. You want to talk about being on great teams. For sure. Those USC teams. For sure, 100%. Bush was carrying a heavy load. They had great wide receivers. So I can see that more. Vince Young, what's Vince Young doing on this list? I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, there's I don't a, know what tax well, Okay, well, there's another guy who didn't have a great NFL career. Again, these, this is— But Vince wasn't college. a bad thrower of the football. He wasn't an elite thrower of the football, or he would have started in the NFL. And I don't think the teams, um, I don't think the teams were good with Vince, but not, not to the same level of Tim Tebow. So but you I don't think, think he's I think be he's a better list. thrower of the football. I think he's a hell of a lot better runner. And I think he's a better overall quarterback than Tim Tebow. Black Rifle Coffee, boys. As you know, Memorial Day is coming up. What better way to honor the men and women who serve th than by drinking Black Rifle coffee? Black Rifle is a veteran-founded coffee company operated by principled men and women who honor those who protect, defend, and support our country. With every purchase you make, they give back. All right, if you haven't tried Black Rifle Coffee yet, you need to. The Complete the Mission Fuel Sampler, that's Complete the Mission Fuel Sampler, gives you a taste of the entire spectrum of Black Rifle Coffee flavor profiles, offering four ounce bags of light, medium, and dark roast. The Silencer Smooth, which is a, a family favorite of mm -hmm. ours. AK-47 Espresso, have you had that one yet? Not yet. I haven't had that one yet. Beyond Black, which I do love, and Just Black, the only hard part will be picking a favorite. So stop running out uh, out of a uh, coffee and sign up for Black Rifle Coffee Club subscription to have Black Rifle Coffee delivered straight to your door on schedule. Boys, save money and drink America's coffee. Go to blackriflecoffee.com. Use our promo code. Do it. Okay, Booster, B-O-O-S-T-E-R -O -O at checkout. That's 10% off of your one-time purchase at Black Rifle Coffee, all right? Or, or one of your coffee club orders. That's blackriflecoffee.com, promo code Booster for 10% off. You can also find Black Rifle Coffee in grocery and convenience stores near you. Black Rifle Coffee, America's Coffee. So next, Reggie Bush. Like what? This is what this is what gives me faith that artificial intelligence may not be taking over so soon. You got Reggie Bush on the most overrated college football player. Yeah, I don't know. You made a mistake. How's Jadavian Clowney overrated? Jadavian Clowney. Snap it. <laughs> is this, I thought this, this was overrated. Yeah, Brady Quinn I get. I, I can understand Brady Quinn. A I get more. that. I can understand Brady Quinn being on that list. Ron Dane, I didn't get to, like, I didn't really get to watch Ron Dane in and out. You know, uh, back. Yeah. No, I've on. seen his highlights and everything, but Manti Teo, Manti was a good player. I can see, hold on. He's a good Ron, player, but he's so overhyped with the, whatever thing happened with him. Is it Ron Dane? Didn't have, Ron Dane Bosworth. have the most... Like top three in rushing yards of all yeah. time. So, I mean, Ron Dane is a freshman, 2,100 rushing yards. Okay, yeah. Uh, That's right. Chris Walton said Rob Dane, Rob Michael Vick of the Heisman. Uh, 2,100 rushing yards and 21 TDs as a, as a freshman. 2,000 rushing yards as a senior with 20 TDs. 7,100 career rushing yards for Ron Dane. So, yeah, pretty good. Manti Teo. Let's talk about Manti Teo for a second because... The whole, you, you want to talk about like outside PR blowing up with the girlfriend situation and like driving that narrative. Maybe that's what could lead to him being on the most overrated list just because of all the outside publicity, mm -hmm. but still a freak show linebacker. Oh, well, like I'm, a great football player. Yeah, Manti Teo was a solid linebacker. And I think the reason he's on this list is because everything you just said is what happened with the, with the doc. Right? Even before that, just... Man, I still don't know. I felt, especially after watching the documentary, I felt so bad. You know? I did too. Because I really, I mean. I want to get Manti Taylor. I would love to get him on. Yeah. I would love to get him on. Um, he's Brian, a great person. Brian Bosworth's the last one on this list. I don't really get to watch Oklahoma. him. I, I don't know about this one. Just because I, really I, I, I didn't live through the hype and like get to see all of his tape yeah. and stuff like that. But I mean, who I know Bo you? Jackson ran through his ass in the NFL. Yeah, that did happen. So who would you put on this list then? 
I don't, yeah, I don't mind Brady Quinn being on Tim there. Tebow needs to say exactly where he is. I mean, Matt Leinart and Brady Quinn were great college quarterbacks, for sure. But I could see them being on here, at least. Tim Tebow does not belong on this list. At first, I was thinking Sam Bradford might Sam? be below no, Brady. Sam was a dog. But, he, but that one year, what did he have? He had 4,800 yeah, yards Sam was a dog. 50 touchdowns? If his knees would have held up. Man. Yeah. So even him, I can't put on here. I remember that. Speaking of Tim Tebow and Sam Bradford, you remember that game? Yeah. Dude. I tell you what, I this was these were my Tim Tebow was my year, man. Patrick Rainey, Chris Thompson, they had another guy. Just the Aaron Hernandez, where Aaron Hernandez was on those teams too. Mm-hmm. Like those Florida teams, like I, I think realistically from a roster standpoint, you could stack them up with the best, mm-hmm. like the Bama teams and that LSU team that won. If you if you took the but top, a, a big reason for that is Tim Tebow, and he was a good team leader too. For sure, great team leader. You know, like the the golden child. That's what he was in college, walking on water. But I think, right, you put Johnny Manziel on that team, you're winning a lot of games. I think you put Brady Quinn on that team, you're probably you're probably winning most of your games. I think that roster is— Most of your games, that's different than two no. natties in three years. I'd say he'd be close. Trophy. I'd say he'd be close with Brady Quinn on that team. Brady Quinn— all right, so Brady Quinn's one on here that didn't get a Heisman. Obviously, to JB, Jadavian Clowney didn't get one. Bench Young. Oh, Riley Heisman. Cooper was on that team, too. Absolute dog. Riley Cooper was an absolute dog. One of my favorite. I love watching those Florida teams, man. Like, I'm like you play with them in NCAA. I didn't. It's like I, 97 I didn't. speed. 96 <laughs> did. 97 speed. Just an absolute freak show overall. All right, well, that's those are our friends. 247 Sports over there. They had ChatGPT make the most overrated college football player list. Tell us, please, in the comments, tell Blaine that he is out of his mind for thinking Tim Tebow is overrated. No matter what you overrated. think about the guy personally, okay? No. So you're overrated. Forcing it. You're forcing it. You're forcing it. What is the chat saying? All right, let's go to Blake Gleaton, $2 donation. The Tim Tebow slander is outrageous. There you go. No, it's not. There you go. No, it's not. Thank you. Just go watch. All right, heartbroken hog. Blaine has lost his mind. (laughs) Look, I lost my mind way before I called Tim Tebow overrated, buddy. I promise that. Um, Jared Howard, how can Tim Tebow be uh, overrated, maybe underrated? He had Jesus on his side. (laughs) (laughs) Look, look, I get it. It's going to read Crane. Tebow isn't overrated in college. Second best to Cam. And for, uh, and uh, phobia. I'm not there to challenge Blaine until Monday. If you think Tim Tebow, read. I love you. All right. So happy for y'all. Having a great, having a great time. But I want you to look your husband in the eyes and say that Tim Tebow is better than Cam Newton. Then I want you. I want you to sit and watch the reaction. I'm fully convinced that that's Jake using Reed's hand in no the chat. There's no way. Uh, <laughs> there's no. There's no way those words would utter. Jake wouldn't even type that. Huh? Jake wouldn't even. He type. wouldn't play it. Play it. Hold on. Play it. Hold on. I love and support you, but you're wrong. (laughs) YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and make sure you share with five friends.